All right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us this evening. I, uh, like I always say, you could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. We appreciate that. I'm really, really excited to uh, bring this to you tonight because these are some folks that have been influential in my success in my career. And it's very uh, flattering to me to be able to share a little bit of time with them and to be able to help that bring them to you. So thank you uh, for that. And uh, I'll uh, go ahead and introduce everyone and then I will let them kind of talk about what we're going to be talking about. And then we'll go from there. If uh, that sounds good with everyone, please give me a one in the chat so I know that you're alive and that there's more than just Mike handling, holding down the chat for us. All right, great. So I am joined today with, by, where are they? <clears throat> Three of the people, like I said, that have been influential in my career. They, we have, Greg Morrison, who is kind of the original one-man gang father of SEO, one of the people I learned from and have had the privilege of learning from. And I don't think I've ever actually spoken to him in part until today, in, like audibly until today, but I, I hope that he uh, knows the, the effect that he's had on my career. And then there's Gregory Ortiz, who I've gotten to know very well over the last eight years or so, as he was instrumental in helping start my freelance career, which led to Legit, which led to all of you being here today. And then Liz Herrera, who I met through a very good friend of ours uh, who is like one of the most versatile people I've ever met in the industry. And they have a lot to uh, talk to you about today. So uh, you guys want to go ahead and say hello, whatever. Yeah. What's up, Chris? Thank you for having us. First off, I'm, I'm going to go, I'm here at uh, an event right now myself. So I just wanted to come on camera and say hi to everybody. Uh, and thank you for having us. Like we actually, Chris and I actually met through Becker, which was yeah. great. We were both in his mastermind, which is uh, pretty amazing. So uh, I, oh, I, the reason I got a cap on is I, I, I followed what Chris did. I, I got some purple hair, so I don't want you guys to see that purple <laughs> hair right now. So I gotta wait till it washes off before I debut my Chris Walker hairstyle. But I, I know you guys uh, follow Chris is a good guy to follow. Obviously, very intelligent, very smart, and it's even an honor for me. I'm, I'm proud of the fact that you followed Greg because uh, Greg is like you said, he's the original one man gang and I followed Greg for that reason. And interesting fact about me, Chris, is I don't even know a lick of SEO, <laughs> which is <laughs> terrific, but I'm just, just by hanging out with nothing, but it seems like I'm just surrounded by SEO guys. I must have something for SEO guys. So it's just sort of, uh, I've become pretty good at talking about it and then using it in my other careers and it served me very well, despite the fact that I don't know a single thing about it, to be quite honest with you. So thank you for having us here. And uh, I know Greg probably has a, a bit to say as well, and so does Ortiz. I guess I'll, I'll go next. So Chris, yeah, we never talked, and I did, actually didn't know that you learned anything from me. So uh, it was very humbling to learn that you actually got something from you know so, something that I taught back in the day. And it seems like there's a whole lot of people that are way smarter than me that somehow learn something from me. I don't know how. So I, it's, it's definitely humbling to, to learn that you learn from me because you're you're an awesome name in the industry and a lot of people know you. So that's it's humbling to me. And um, I, I learn from you now. You know, I, I track what you do with legit and uh, your business moves. So that's uh, that was really cool to hear. And I appreciate that. Yeah. And by the way, I'm trying to share my my picture, too. But for some reason, my camera won't start because why would anything ever go according to plan? But I just don't want everyone to think I'm being shy. And I just want to say, you know, I'm really excited to be here, Chris. You know, just as you mentioned, you and I have built a friendship over the last eight years. Um, I remember when you first got into SEO and when things started. And as you know, and many people on here who have commented as well, um, I originally worked at Bed Bath & Beyond and Greg Morrison changed my life completely. I mean, I still keep my Bed Bath & Beyond ID at my desk every single day just to stare at it and to remember I'll never go back. I mean, I can't go back now because they went out of business. So when you think about it, I would have been looking for <laughs> a brand new job or something else, but I didn't have to worry about any of that thanks to the power of what we do. So I'm just really excited to be here, excited to be amongst your people, excited to be amongst Greg and Liz. Anytime I see them, even though it's virtual, I get excited. So, you know, it's great to be here. I wish I was able to see your face too, like you said, but like yeah, you said, I'm, I'm still working work out as planned. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be going according to plan. Great. Um, so I guess the, uh, the next step would be for you guys to uh, tell us why we're all here, like uh, what we've got coming up and how that's going to go. And I think I'm really yeah. excited about it. I'm sure you guys are too. Absolutely. You know, it's been a long time since we've been, haven't done this. So just kind of let everybody know, obviously the cat's out of the bag, but uh, we've 
decided to have another OMG live event, which is literally like where we've all met in some way, shape or form out of going to one of those. I obviously that's where I met Becker. And then eventually like it led me to you, Chris. And you know, that's where you kind of already heard about Greg, but the reason that we decided to do that is just because we enjoy having that community feel and we enjoy having people and getting to meet people in person. It's just really life changing to be able to meet somebody in some instances that you wouldn't otherwise be able to. And it, that's the great thing about our industry is that you can meet people like that, meet them in person, become friends with them. And then at some point they somehow dramatically impact your life. And it makes it that much better when you meet them in person and have multiple touches because they in some, some way, if you bloom and blossom that relationship, they could at one point really dramatically change your business. So we're excited to kind of bring that back. And it's something that Greg wanted to do. So I'm sure he's going to touch more on that, but just to be able to be in the room with this group of gentlemen, like included yourself, Ortiz, Greg, and many more that are going to be there. It's truly going to be like life changing. Like right now I'm actually at the click funnels event and uh, it's, I, I was talking to Chris about this earlier. I've made some crazy great friendships from years past that I come out here and see them once again. And it's sort of like something happens and then, you know, you can either start an opportunity with them or just blossom the relationship. And it's just great to be able to have friends in this industry where you can just pick up the phone and solve any problem. And I think the best way th this was told is Napoleon Hill talked about Henry Ford having to go to court or I don't know who it was that had to go to court and, if he had a problem, he would pick up the phone. And he would call someone that was in his mastermind or in his group. And that was the power of being able to have like this group of people that you can have on your Rolodex. Back in the days, it was a Rolodex, Chris. Nowadays, <laughs> it's on our smartphone. So we can be as, as dumb as chimpanzees and still be able to pick up the phone. And hey, hey, Chris, ooh, 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 give me a banana. <laughs> <laughs> so Greg, yeah, I know you, Greg definitely has some stuff to add to that as does Ortiz. Yeah, so the original OMG event for me was really special. I was back in, I guess, 2012, 2013, we did the first one. And that was because it was so close knit. And I think that's what we're trying to go back for. And as OMG grew throughout the years, um, you know, we had a lot of coaches come on board and the events got bigger and they got less, um, less personable, right? So there'd be 700 people at an event. You can't really talk to 700 people. So as I talked to Liz and Joe and Greg, uh, we were like, you know, we want to, we want kind of that old feel back, or we want that core group of like 100, 200 people at most, because the core OMG when 200 people come to the event, I knew all of them, and also from the original event, I can, I can bet you almost half of them are still in this business and doing very well. You, know, you got like the Jake Tanners, you got the Dino Gomez's, uh, of course you got Liz, Greg, you got Jim Morfolio, who's now a partner of mine, Dan Anton. Uh, who's now sailing off and say he's retired. You know, he, he partially retired. Uh, so, the, I mean, there's so many names that came from that original OMG event. I think part of that was because it was so close knit because when you have a close knit community, the real stuff is shared and that's kind of what we're after again. We're, we're after like the real you know, personal relationships again. And that's what this event's kind of built around. It's more like a, a personal event and rebuilding that uh, closer knit community again. Yeah, and I have to agree with you completely, Greg, when it comes to, like you mentioned, the original group. Like, I think finally, among most most of those people who, like you mentioned, had started and went to those OMG live events before, and I didn't really think about it until you just mentioned it right now, that more than half of them are probably still in this industry, and it's true, because I think of how many of them are my friends or people that I at least communicate with every now and then, and they're all still in this industry, and they all continue to, you know, be their own boss, do their own thing, and just like Liz, I mentioned having that Rolodex, so to speak, of being able to just call someone up and be able to get things done. For me personally, like I wouldn't be where I am today had I not gone to those OMG live events. Like that's where I was able to meet you in person, where I was able to meet Liz, where I was able to meet Joe, Dan, Alex Becker, and make all those friendships and make a big chunk of my money from that to begin with. And of course, more importantly, being able to have friendships and like Liz mentioned, being able to pick up the phone and say, hey, you know, I'm having a little bit of trouble with X, Y, and Z. And being able to get that answer instead of having to scour the internet for hours or toss it into a Facebook group and wait hours and hours for someone to get back to me, I'm able to go directly to people that I connected with at these events and kind of get the answers I need or at least point me to other people that may have the answers that are in their network as well. Because it's not just your network you're growing, you're also tapping into your friends' networks as well, which is important. You know, the, the yeah, only event I've been, I've been once and it's the only SEO event I've ever gone to as an attendee. So. Wow. 
And, you know, Chris, I wanted to kind of add on that. There's something that, that these guys said that really got me thinking. And that's a story that happened to me today. Something that happened to me today really like it, it honestly touched me and it almost got me teary eyed. And that's because I'm sure everybody in the, in the audience knows who Myron Golden is. Like Russell Brunson has made him pretty famous. He's uh, had quite a bit of success and he's the guy that originally pitched one of Russell's biggest product that he ever sold. And I, I believe Myron closed, I don't know, the, the story is like something in the $20 million range at a ClickFunnels event. And Myron, interestingly enough, uh, one our other partner, Joe Marfolio, who's on, on the list of speakers uh, that we'll see a little later, was saying, oh, I want, I want to introduce you to Myron. I want to introduce you to Myron. And uh, I was like, yeah, sure. But he was completely always bombarded. He had like groups of people around him, flocked around him because Russell's built him up into this like almost like godlike being. Right. And so today I was sitting down and I had this cap on because like I've been such an introvert lately, Chris, I like my purple <laughs> hair is just completely screwed everything up. So I'm like, I don't want anybody to comment on my, on my, my purple hair. So I'm going to keep this hat on. I really thought you were kidding be, about that at first. Nah, I, I am <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> but you know, I just didn't, I was really feeling very antisocial. So I wanted to just stay like undercover and I'm sitting there in the aisle, like waiting for this thing to start. And all of a sudden, like I see Myron and he's got like a flock of people around him, like 10, 15 people. All of a sudden in the middle of everything, he stops and he's like, Hurricane Liz? Is that Hurricane Liz? And he's like, get over here. And then he's like, I just wanted to tell you how much you dramatically impacted my life. I'm OMG 2014. He's class of 2014. And I was like, wow, well, you know, well, thank you so much, Myron. So I had a conversation with him. And he was just talking about how dramatically OMG had impacted his life. And he is where he's at today because of the chances that he took because he was in the group and he felt confidence in his skill level and he met all these great people and he just got more and more confidence in himself. And now he's like Myron Golden, who's like making 10, $20 million a year, but he's just one of the many success stories. Like Becker was also an OMG student. So it kind of all goes back to that original thing. Like these are guys that went to the events. Myron was at that 2016 uh, or 20. I even forget 14, 15 event in Nashville, which went really well. The Dan Anton was retired, sailing around on his yacht. I'm like, how is it that the, the students have definitely defeated the teacher here, Chris? I was like, Dan Anton's got a yacht. Myron Golden is like selling for Russell Brunson. It's just insanity how successful they've been. But it's going back to that core community of people that really truly believe in you and they got your back. And it's like, Dan Anton is a former army ranger, like no man left behind, or in this case, like no man or woman, the one or two girls that we do have in the community. Cause it is a sausage fest. Like, let's face it, but <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> it's definitely fun. And we have a great time. And obviously we love to see our students have success. There's no greater feeling in the world than seeing the Myron Goldens of the world just thrive. And you knowing that they came up in the community and you had a part to do in their success. Like, honestly, it got me like teary eyed and it just goes to show like it, it just means a lot to us. And that's why we like to coach, which is like the same reason that you like to do what you do, Chris, which, you know, you like to change people's lives. That's why you ultimately do this. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know what to say <laughs> after something like that. I feel uh, anything I say would be a little underwhelming. Um, in the chat, somebody says Becker just sold his business for 110 million. Exactly. Yeah. We love yeah. to hear shit like that. Like I love Becker. You love Becker too. We paid Becker a boatload of money, but it was well worth every cent. I yeah. mean, how often you get to sit on top of a guy that sold his company hundred million dollars. I won't say what we did on that rooftop. That will remain <laughs> a secret forever, yeah. but we know how much fun we had on that rooftop at Becker's place. Yeah, definitely. Becker just paid me to do his SEO too for that company for hire. So we just got him to page one for track ads. Actually. I think he just hit like last month. Oh wow, that's, I had no idea. That's awesome. Now I don't do it for him anymore. We didn't. I didn't mesh well with his project manager, so that's. But now that he's paid you <laughs> one. He's like, well, maybe we should think about it again. I'm like, eh, the guy, if, that, if that guy's there, I can't do it. But I still talk to Becker and, and work with him, which is cool. That's awesome. And I've tried, by the way, everything I can think of to get my webcam to work, and it's not working. So, um, I guess maybe we should get into a little bit of the details of the the thing that's coming up. Do uh, you guys want to just go into that and I'll kind of scroll through it here? Sure, absolutely. That'd be great. So obviously, of course, we've got a uh, few different things that go, that we got that's going on. There's going to be speakers, of course. There's going to be networking. 
And we've got quite a list of speakers. It's kind of incredible, Chris, in a way that when we did announce this, uh, we were kind of a little over overwhelmed by, first of all, we just decided, hey, we got to bring this back. It had been Greg's dream to do this again, and we got to get it going. And once we started to announce it, people began to find out. And even just being here at this conference that I'm at right now, people are like, wow, you're having an event? Can I speak there? And it's sort of like, now there's people coming and wanting to speak there. And it's sort of like, we've already got a full on load of people. And we've got more people that are just coming out of the woodwork, just like, you know, I've always wanted to speak there. And obviously they're influential people that have done terrific for themselves and they've got great things that they can teach. And we've got guys that have hundreds and hundreds of mortgage brokers as clients coming out of the woodwork and, and things like that, uh, that want to speak. And it's sort of like, we don't really have space for it, but it's just so many people that just coming out that are excited about this event again, because as I said before, we kind of didn't really realize the impact that we've made on a lot of young entrepreneurs' lives. And now they're, as Greg mentioned and Ortiz mentioned, they're much further in their career. They're more mature. We hope that they're making more mature decisions, but they're still terrific people that are doing terrific things in this world. And they're kind of putting their mark out there to just make the world a better place. But we're still bringing back some of the same old characters. We got Greg, we obviously got Joe, we've got you, we got Fletch, we got Eric Fawcett, who is a master at sales. I mean, the guys that I already mentioned before that, we, we know what they're about. But we got also people like Brent Fisher and his partner, Isaac Porter, who are basically here to tell us that digital agencies right now are one of the hottest businesses to have. They are the business that's selling for the highest multiple out of any other business. And this includes like net, uh, newsletter businesses or any type of business with an MRR, digital agencies are being bought up like crazy by hedge funds. So they're going to talk about that and they're going to talk about what you should be doing inside of your digital agency to ensure that you get a maximum payout. And then of course we got our underground students as we usually have. We have Bala who's teaching us how to do something that he calls plug and play SEO, which is just no having to think SEO that'll pretty much get you results and be being a, able to help you compete with whoever you're competing against. Like he ranks for things and, and Greg can touch on some of the thing, competitive niches. He's in a cannabis and gold and he's doing just tremendous for himself. And then we got Brad Stewart, who's one of, uh, of the students from our mastermind. He's a seven figure agency owner. He's doing terrific for himself as well as Trevor. Trevor's a former army ranger. This is what we love about Trevor. He's such a winner. Former army ranger turned SEO agency owner. And in the past five years, he's managed to have over 300 clients. And that's while he still has another product and another business that he's working on. So he's going to be there talking about how he managed to get all those clients. And then we also have Troy Broussard, who incidentally is partners with Ben Settle on many projects, which if a lot of people follow the email marketing world, Ben Settle is like one of the most famous email copywriters that there is. The guy is an absolute beast. And Troy's one of his partners. And Troy's going to talk about how he built his agency from zero to 2.8 million in 18 months. And that was zero to 100 employees as well in 18 months and how he managed to do that while still being able to enjoy all the things that he regularly enjoys. And then we got Josh, who's our resident AI expert. Like, I mean, this guy has just traveled the entire globe combing all the great AI resources that there are and coming up with his own as well as a, a couple surprises that he's got for people. So he's going to talk about that. And then we have the two kings of GMB, Mike Merlino and Brock Misner, who are both going to talk about some underground GMB things that they're doing that work very effectively, how they're able to get traffic in as little as 30 days to the GMB. And Brock's going to talk about something he calls the GMB trifecta, which is there's essentially three different algorithms in GMB. So he's going to talk about how that works, what you should be paying attention to, and how you can get that traffic. So they're going to talk about both those things. And then finally, we got Terry Samuels, who's like, for me, Chris, I like to keep things simple, but this guy is like the schema whisperer is what I hear. I don't know anything about that. I've talked to Ortiz and Greg. I still don't get it. All I know is it's like some complicated SEO stuff. This guy's going to talk about that because I know people love to nerd out, and I'm certainly not an SEO nerd. Uh, I'm really not a nerd about many things. Probably the things that I'm a nerd about, I, I, it would be inappropriate to say things about on this webinar. <laughs> so we'll refrain from doing that, Chris. But uh, lastly, we got Scott Simpson, who 
I can't even, I cannot even reveal he's under like a strict NDA, but I will tell you guys this much. He handles some of the biggest business YouTube channels on the planet, but that can't be revealed whose they are. And this guy is just magic on YouTube. So he has a couple of huge channels on YouTube. And so he's going to be talking about several different things, including some of the automated channels, how to do that, how not to do that and things like that. So very exciting. And there's a couple that we haven't even announced yet that were determined to get into speaking at this event. One of them is the mortgage broker guy who did speak at our mastermind. He's not even listed on this page as none of these guys that I'm about to kind of reveal here are, but uh, I can't even say his name yet just because I can't yet. Joe would kill me, but <laughs> this guy's got hundreds of mortgage broker clients who pay him tens of thousands of dollars every single month. Like he's got, I think his company did $40 million this past year with just mortgage brokers alone and doing their SEO and handling all their business. So he's going to be on, on, on at the event. He's going to talk about how he manages to get all those clients and basically have, he, he does events and he just does $4 million at the event, signing up these mortgage brokers for his services. So he's going to talk about how he does that. And we've got a couple other surprises that are going to be coming um, I think we got a brand new, uh, Greg can touch on this. We've got confirmed uh, link building or link who uh, Greg uses almost exclusively for all his backlinks. So Greg can touch on that here in a second, but that's kind of a quick rundown of who's speaking there. And then Greg also has something that he's prepared. You know, think about Greg this wonderful. He's not going to say this stuff about him. So I got to build him up and I got to talk about the great things that he's doing because he doesn't like to talk. I'm the talker. People are probably like, all right, let's shut up enough. We want to hear from Greg. But I got to tell you, this guy is about Greg before we before he jumps on here. He's going to be discussing something that and he can probably reveal a little bit more to you here. Greg is a guy that sticks to the meat and potatoes of SEO. He doesn't go far from what he's just good at. And he's meticulous, sniper-like, and he'll do the same thing over and over again. Most of us will be like, oh, we're bored of that shit. We don't want to have to do that. But Greg will keep doing it just because he makes it work. So it's very rare that you get Greg to come out with something brand new that he's created. Once a year, he probably comes out with something that he adds to what he normally does. Well, this time around, what he's managed to do is he's managed to combine AI with his SEO practices and eliminate as much of the human element as possible. So that's through the use of uh, AI generated content. So he's got a system that he does where he's already earning affiliate commissions by just setting this simple system up that he's sort of like created himself after all that he learned with the AI since he's been like messing around with that for almost a year now. So he's going to be revealing that live and he can kind of touch on it a little bit more here after I shut my mouth. But I'm just super excited to see that because I've long been an SEO dummy and I finally think, well, maybe I can actually get into this SEO stuff and learn more about it and watch what Greg does. So uh, Greg, you want to talk a little bit more about that? Yeah. So, I mean, just after a lot of playing around with AI, cause it's, you know, it's obviously going to be a big part of our industry kind of already is, but it's going to get even bigger. I want to just find a way to, to make it simple, right? Cause my, my approach to SEO is always the simple way where you focus on, just getting the core basics of, of uh, the on-page 100% correct, right? Whereas most people focus on like every on-page aspect you can you can think of. Well, my take is if you just focus all your your attention on the you know five or six things that take up 99% of on-page SEO, then you're going to get it right, and you're not going to miss anything. You're going to do the best. And then if you need to tidy up some things later, you tidy it up. And the same thing on the other end with the off-page, you just focus on a few core things, and then what this does allows you to, to produce very high quality AI content that all passes CopyScape, very well written, very well formatted, all with a touch of a button, and you pump it out on sites that are pre-selected uh, based off authority, which I can probably show at the event too, and then they just rank like crazy. I mean, all you gotta do pretty much is, is get a content plan together, which I'll show how to do with ChatGPT. Uh, you get all the con all the content ready. You load up all the titles. You put the titles in this in this tool. You t tell it what titles you want, and it simply goes and and does all the content for you. It's crazy. I mean, literally with the push of a button, after you find the titles, it pumps out all the content to your site because there's plugins that can go and automatically schedule it and automatically post it. It posts AI images, so there's images in there. It's perfectly formatted. So. 
it's it's really really powerful and i've been doing this for now a couple months on some of my really powerful sites that i got at auction which i'll show how to do at the event and with that amount of content and with how it's formatted and the amount you're you're generating off the the power of the uh these these auction domains it's it's like an explosion i mean your your traffic it will go through the roof very quickly so it's pretty cool to see and i'm just kind of working on getting some funnels in place for, for some more competitive niches that I'm in right now. Cause that's, that's the fun part for me. I think this is too easy for, for the low competition where you can still make a lot of money. So I'm kind of playing with the higher competition niches and, uh, and working out a few more kinks. So it's going to be fun to present. Awesome. Did you notice that Liz left out me when she was mentioning the speakers? <laughs> well, because Chris, you're on the webinar. You're going to talk I'm, about, you're going to reveal to us what you're going to talk about today. That's why I left you yeah, out. I, I, yeah, I, don't 100% know what that is yet, but <laughs> <laughs> that's why I had to leave you out. I, I what you talk about Chris. <laughs> so one thing I can say about a couple of the speakers, I can't speak on all of them because I don't know all of them. But Merlino and Brock, uh, they are so good at GMBs. So well, I guess they call them GBPs now, right? Google Business Profiles, but we all call them GMB still from back in the day. So we actually use them in our agency, which does seven figures a year. So we just let them do all the GMB stuff because they're so good. We just hire them. They take care of it all. But at the event, they'll show you like what they're doing with, with their GBPs to help rank their clients very quickly. And I can tell you, they get crazy results. Uh, we wouldn't have them speak if they didn't have great results. So they're awesome at that. And then Scott, who's speaking on YouTube, I actually pay him for two YouTube channels. I'm paying him six grand a month each for each channel. So it's 12 grand a month I'm paying him. And let me tell you, this guy is the best when it comes to YouTube. Uh, the, the stuff I've learned, uh, it's almost like I want to switch from SEO to YouTube now because I'm having so much fun with it. And uh, that's that's for real. Like I, I really am enjoying it because of what I learned from Scott, because we we pump out the content. You know, we, we're doing I'm doing up to four to five videos a week. And then we get on our meetings and each week he tells me like what I need to improve on. And I've learned so much from him uh, where our, our channels are very quickly improving. So he, he is very, very good at YouTube if you've never heard of him. No, I actually hadn't. I'm have to check that out myself. I do a lot of like, I don't know which channels he's allowed to say he's done, but he's gotten over, he's produced over a billion views for his clients collectively. So, I mean, he's, he's wow. big. All right. I've tried a hundred more times to get my camera to start. So I guess that's just not going to happen. Um, I, I've dropped the, uh, the link to it in the, uh, in the chat a few times, if you haven't checked that out, but you can go to this high tech, URL display here of superstarseo.com slash OMG. Chris, I um, do it the same exact way. <laughs> I, I was actually thinking of you when I did that. I remember when you used to like paste it in the paint and that That's was how you show it. So yeah, check that out. Then um, I guess you want to just talk about the different packages and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. We got a couple different packages. We got a general admission right now. It's uh it's actually only available to your people for $497, Chris. So okay. that is the uh general admission ticket, which is pre pretty much going to include just about everything other than two things. It's going to still have all the networking, all the ex access to being able to listen into every single talk other than one hour that we do have early for the VIPs. Um, so you'll still get Greg in the hallway. You'll still get Greg showing up to a pregame party. So we're going to have a pregame party. Chris, you better bring your purple hair ready to drink some alcohol at the pregame party, which will be the night of the second. Uh, so we're going to expect you in full force, as well as the whole rest of the group is going to be ready to go for, for the pre-networking party. And um, you're still going to get all the content other than VIP. The only difference with the VIP, which is uh, I, I don't even I, I'm checking to see what the early bird price that you're getting. Your people are getting an early bird price. I believe it's 997. Oh, I'm sorry. Big. Yeah, they're uh, going to get oh, 1497. So the general admission 497 is, like I said, it's terrific. It's a great way to, if you've never been to an event, to get started and go to an event. And then there's just the up, the VIP. For the VIP, you're going to get a VIP mixer, which is basically on the first evening, you get to go hang out again at the bar and talk. And as usual, that's where the magic happens. And this is a lesson I learned from Richard Branson. When I got to ask him a question, of course, alcoholic me at the time <laughs> asked him, <laughs> what kind of advice would you give a young entrepreneur? And surprisingly enough, 
like attracts like, Chris. He said, party more, Liz. So <laughs> I took his advice quite literally. I began to party like a maniac. And that's kind of how I managed to get into OMG. So lesson of the story is go out with the OMG guys, take them drinking. All the secrets come out, guys and gals. So that's what's going to happen at the exclusive VIP mixer, as well as a one hour early admit admittance into what we're going to have is a Q and a with uh, expert panel. And you'll also get to sit up at the front. Liz, the, yes. I'm, I'm sorry. I just want to jump in because I had confirmed pricing um, with Chris and everyone else earlier. I apologize. The pricing at the bottom for VIP and VIP platinum is actually wrong. It's actually cheaper. It should be 997 for the middle package and 1497. I'm fixing that right now. But okay. anyone that's on the webinar, just so you have an idea, it's actually less than what you're seeing. I'm fixing it right now, though. Fantastic. Then that's why I was so confused. That's why I look like, yeah, oh, yeah. what did I miss here? <laughs> so that's great news, Ortiz. That's fantastic news. So um, again, like I said, this is great. If you want to have a more interactive and immersive experience, you get to get some drinks in you. Obviously, you still get to get some drinks with a general admission ticket, which is perfect, as, especially if it's your first event. I highly am. Oh, Chris and I were talking about this earlier. I'm more of a mastermind and event whore whereas chris is not really that same type of person but you know there's a purpose to, that we all serve in this world <laughs> and i'm fine with being classified as a mastermind and event whore that's perfectly fine with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's it fits me it suits me so well, i think yeah sorry go ahead oh no that's that's all i was gonna say chris so that that's the two packages so then, then there's the third there's a there's the ultra vip and on that one you get a third full day and you get to spend that day with our exclusive mastermind members as well as some more high level also get a dinner at the end of that uh, third night so that just includes a full extra day where you get to actually co-mingle with us in a more intimate setting and uh, basically means just less people and more you know attention that you might need you might have specific problems in your business that you want to very specifically address and we can do that for you. That's what usually happens in our mastermind events where it's just one full day with us. And it's uh, all our all our guest coaches, all our main coaches are there, as well as all the members. We'll pretty much all have very successful businesses. Most of them are agency owners as well as high-level SEOs and affiliates that um, are doing quite terrific for themselves. So that's the third one that Ortiz is fixing the price, which is $1,497. So it's $497, $997, and $1,497. And uh, yeah, I think you were going to say, say something, Chris, and then I'm sure Greg and Ortiz have a couple things to add. You you mentioned that I don't like going to these things. And the fact that I am going to this one is the only the second time I've traveled all year. I uh, should tell people how valuable it is and how I'm, I got it hyped for. I wanted to like buy a ticket as you were talking. <laughs> like I'm already going. So I uh, my point is that it, that should show you the value beyond it, because everybody that knows me knows that I don't like to travel or leave the house that much. And uh, I'm looking forward to this. So. You guys can continue. Yeah, we're definitely looking forward to having you, Chris. I've not, I've not seen you in a long time, and uh, it'd be terrific to get to see each other again and hang out and network and mastermind as usual. Definitely. Um, if there, uh, if you, I'm sure there are some questions. Anybody that has any can drop those in the chat, and then uh, like I say the uh, I'll bring the URL back up on screen if you want to check that out. It is hopefully that's visible enough. I made the biggest font that it would let me make. It's uh, superstarsheo.com slash OMG. I think I think, uh, I think the value speaks for itself, but I will add my own two cents to it is that in the, I've, a lot of people think that I have people that do everything for me. And for the most part I do, but emails that I have sent promoting this were all written by me and they were all com completely sincere. When I say that investing in coaching and training and meeting people has, was by far the biggest thing that changed my life and made it to where I can be here today. And uh, if you can see it, if you have the ability to make it to something like this, that one relationship that you can make it in just speaking to someone in the halls can do that. For example, uh, my partner in legit, uh, Greg knows him, Gregory knows him. You guys need to change your names. Gregory knows him a little bit. Uh, I met him through a networking and like a $16 sale. And now we have a, you know, a seven, eight figure a year business from, 
that one little conversation. So I say, I don't say that to just hype this sort of thing because that's not how I am. Everything I wrote and everything I said was completely sincere. That I really believe that things like investing in coaching and training and meeting th people and learning things from other people can change your life because you can't be good at everything. You aren't, no matter how good you think you are, there's somebody that's better than you. And the, but the way to get better is to learn from people that are better than you. And the way you do that is to get into rooms where people that are better than you are showing you things. And this is the opportunity to do that. And to exchange that for 500 bucks, which is what most of us spend on groceries in a week, is is worth, you know, it's weight in gold. So I just wanted to add to that, that everything I said in those, it wasn't just me being hype and trying to get people to hit here because it's not that big of a deal. I don't need the money or anything like that. It's uh, because I really believe that there's a lot of value. I don't do a lot of cross promotion with other people because I don't need to. And I was I was excited when Gregory brought this opportunity to me because I knew it could bring the value to you that it has brought to me. That I've gotten from Gregory and from Greg and from you know, Liz and from the other people. So uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the chat, but I'll let you guys continue. I just wanted to add that. I wish, you could, I, wish I could be on camera. I can deliver that even better. But. Yeah, see, Tim has a question here. This is a great question. It says, tell us what Liz is good at other than coloring her hair to match <laughs> legit. <laughs> I mean, she, Tim's being funny, but he did. he does have a point that you kind of, that didn't sell yourself that much there because you're going to be speaking too, right? What are you going to talk to us about? Uh, I actually, here's the crazy thing, Chris. I'll tell, I'll tell you a little bit about myself is um, I have like obviously a YouTube channel that teaches side hustles and teaches mainly my main thing is e-commerce. And uh, this, among the side hustles that I've like managed to learn this year that are tremendous, obviously I still have a huge e-commerce. I've, I've got, I, I do a, a tremendous amount on Walmart every month still, uh, Amazon as well, but I, uh, I do a lot of what's called Amazon influencer. And this is the, this is one of the sexiest things that I've seen in a very long time. It's in fact so sexy that I got Greg to jump on the Amazon influencer wagon. It's just, it's amazing the effect when I talk about this topic, how much people want to know about it. Uh, I I've taught and talked about it so much that I've got like multimillionaires calling me and they're like, I, I've, I'm, I'm trying to get my account approved hundred dollars a day it's insane just because it's almost like amazon gamifies it that right now it's the hottest thing that i've ever seen it's the easiest side hustle that i've ever seen i i teach a lot of that and uh people just love this topic of of amazon and being an influencer on amazon and it's just one of the hottest things and then incidentally i somehow in my side hustles got caught up in this only fans management thing um and I, I tried it, of course, for my channel. For the sake of science, I tried to be an OnlyFans manager. And I'll say this much. While it didn't turn out too well, because out of 200 girls that we worked with, only one reigned supreme, like the Iron Chef. But I'll tell you what about this girl. This girl was an absolute beast. And it was because of her that I became so good at TikTok that she has ha at one point had more followers than Taylor Swift. So there was a lot of stuff that I did on TikTok that could be looked at as black hat or gray hat, but I learned so much about TikTok thanks to that girl. So now what I'm pretty much doing is I'm helping Greg launch his TikTok and then I'm relaunching my TikTok that got banned for the sake of science. Obviously mm -hmm. we all get banned from, slapped or banned from something. So that's kind of more or less what I do, Tim, but I'm not gonna be speaking at this event. I'm gonna be the MC, and that is because this is an SEO event and affiliate. And so most of my stuff is e-com and like YouTube stuff and, and things of that nature. So I'm really not going to speak. I'm going to talk for the guys and kind of build them up and then kind of entertain people a little, possibly show up with purple hair, things of that nature. <laughs> Excellent. Um, yeah. So one of the things I wanted to add as well, and by the way, uh, Liz said at the beginning that Greg's pretty humble and he won't brag about himself, but the same thing with you, Liz, like you made it sound as, oh yeah, I do e-commerce, blah, 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 but we know you do very well in e-commerce. So just want to put that out there too. But um, one of the things that you brought up before, Chris, was about, like you mentioned, uh, being in the room, being around other people and how important that is. And like I kind of said before, it's one of the most important things I've ever done in my career, 
But one of the things that should also be noted is some of these speakers that are going to be here, and I don't know if you touched base on that list, I didn't hear it, but uh, some of these speakers, they don't speak about these kind of things in groups or in courses or anything else, because everyone that's going to this event, you're all going to have to sign an NDA because the stuff being talked about in there, people don't really want getting out in the first place. This is all things that are going to be spoken about, that are going to be taught, that are going to be have questions answered inside of this event that's only going to be taking place at this event. You won't hear stuff being talked about it, at least not for months and months and months until it becomes public knowledge when everyone else gets into certain stuff. But you'll be one of the first people to get into some of these things. Um, just kind of touching base, like Liz mentioned, Amazon Influencer before. We've, and by we, I mean us inside of like the Forge and Traffic Acts, like we've known about um, Amazon Influencer now for months and months and months, thanks to Liz. Like she brought it to all of our attention. All of us jumped on it months ago and some of us are doing very, very well on it. And now I'm starting to see people talking about it in other groups and other stuff like that. So just keep in mind, that's just a natural progression of how things work, but this will be one of those events where you get to hear all this information first because you are signing an NDA. You are gonna get information where people feel comfortable spilling all the beans, so to speak. So I just wanted to mention that too. <clears throat> Excellent. Yeah, thank you for, uh, for adding on to that. Um, does anybody else have any questions about like the where to, the link or the where to go or when, the dates? I guess we should probably tell people that. I don't think we've mentioned that at all. That would be smart. Huh, Chris? <laughs> yeah. It's uh, November 3rd and 4th is the main event. Like I said, the second is going to be the pre-gaming network. Third and fourth are the first two full days of content. And if you buy the VIP Platinum, you get the bonus day of the 5th. And uh, pretty much, like I said, it's day one, show up. It's kind of a pregame, get warmed up, start to meet and greet with people, start to network, party more as Sir, Sir Richard Branson. I should have added the Sir to his title, right? And so we got to listen to what Richard Branson said. Like, rule of thumb, listen to what Richard Branson said. So in other words, this is a family show, so I can't tell you what we're going to do, but we are <laughs> going to do some drinking. Now, not any serious drinking yet. But that's what night two and three are for. Like, we really go out to these events, Chris, with the intention of getting out there and letting loose a little and talking to people about how to improve their business. Like, the thing I love about this event is one thing that, even though I was telling Tim Hodges that this is about SEO, so I kind of choose, like, not to speak there because there's so many people that have things to say and we want them to say it because we see the success that they're having. But one thing that has become very clear to me when I go to these events is it's become more than just an SEO event. It's a business mastermind. We learn how to do better in business. We learn things to improve our business in general and ideas come. So it's become more of than just an SEO event. And it's become a lot about how to succeed in business, how to stay motivated and how to be able to fix problems that if we don't have right now, they're going to happen. Like This is business. As we know, some shit always happens. So we've got to be able to fix it. And that's more or less what this has largely become. And that's kind of why I enjoy it so much. Because like you might be thinking, like, what, what is an e-commerce person doing at an SEO event, right? Because I told you, Chris, I don't really know anything about SEO. But I right. know about business because I've managed to have many successful businesses. But at the same time, I've also managed to fail at many successful businesses. And I think a lot of people out there need that. They need to be able to know that Greg, it hasn't always been puppy dogs and candy canes for Greg or Ortiz or myself. There yeah. have been times where we're like, oh, oh God, what do we do now? Like we're screwed. But at the end of the day, when we have the right circle of people around us, it's not as scary as it might sound. So that's one of the big things about this event that I really like is those relationships and knowing that people have got my back and there's a lot of opportunity out there. Excellent. All right. Um, I think we're probably getting pretty close to the end of it. Uh, how and this will be available, what, through Sunday, right? Isn't that what we decided, Gregory? Right. Yes, correct. Yep. It'll be up until Sunday night. Right. So check it out. Like I say, it's uh not, I think the price is ridiculously reasonable. They were very kind to extend the early bird pricing to to you guys as well, which I've been following the, the long and was not supposed to be the case. So I do appreciate that. And I think that that will help a lot. And it's a uh, plus, you know, Florida. It's great. It's a great place to hang out. It's a fun, fun place to be. I've been there several times uh, actually for other events like these. Uh, so 
I don't know what else to say. Uh, do you guys want to say anything before we wrap it up? There haven't really been a lot of questions. If there are any questions, you can add the, you can drop those now as well. You know, just like you mentioned in Florida, I don't know if we um, mentioned it, uh, but it's also in Cocoa Beach. This is the same place where we actually had our private uh, closed mastermind, the Forge event at last time. So we, a couple of us have been there before and the hotel is right on the beach. There's a tiki bar literally connected to the hotel. They even have an ice cream shop um, on the first floor of the hotel. There's a lot of amazing things that are gonna be happening there. I'm just really looking forward to seeing everyone there and all the fun, seeing familiar and especially brand new faces there as well. And, you know, just as, Greg and Liz spoke about before. It's one of those things where, you know, being around everyone and being able to have those conversations, you really can't put a price on them. So I'm just personally really excited about it. Yeah. And there's a bar, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think you've made, I think you've established that that's going to be a key part of the whole thing, right? Well, you know what the funny thing is, Chris, I don't drink. <laughs> Neither do I actually. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we're going to have some club soda. We'll just pretend uh, we'll give the we'll slip the bartender an extra 20, 40 bucks and tell him keep this club soda coming, put it into the glass <laughs> cup and nobody's going to know the difference. Oh, yeah. And then you get to remember stuff the next day. So it's like an advantage <laughs> that we have. I'm going to be sharp, and crystal, crystal clear and ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't really know what else to say. Uh, Greg or Gregory, anything else you want to add before we wrap up? Yeah, so hope to see you guys there. It's going to be a, a great event, and if you can't make it, all good. But again, we hope to see you guys there. And I'm going to put the link in the chat one more time because I've always been told I don't do that enough. And then we'll wrap it up. I think you did a tremendous job, Chris. Your link Thank is you. loud and proud. <laughs> That's my style right there. I love it. Every time I do that, fan, Chris, Chris, no, I've no, always no, been no, one no, of your no. biggest fans and supporters. So you keep doing what you're doing. I love it. Thing. I agree. Thank you. That means a lot to me. I, I appreciate that. All right, guys, it's getting close to my bedtime anyway. So, <laughs> same thing. Chris, you're, you're really my speed. We we had talk. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to get along swimmingly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to do this. I know it was hard to get get everybody's schedule in, and I appreciate everybody that's listening and watching. Uh, we've had pretty much the same people have been here throughout the entire thing. So I appreciate you taking the time. I, I say that at the end of every live stream or webinar I do that, you know, you could be, and I, I stole this from Jay-Z, but you could have been anywhere in the world, but you were here with us. So we appreciate that. That's something that will never not humble me that people take the time to do that sort of thing. So thank you. One more time, it's superstarseo.com slash OMG. I don't go places much and I'd love to see some of you in person. Some of you I've known online for years. It would be really great to put a face beyond just your Facebook profile picture to uh to meet some of you so i hope that you'll be able to do that and greg gregory and liz appreciate you taking the time to uh to be here as well so thank you thank you chris thank you thank you